we know that all light is found in Jesus Christ. Why do we know that? Because he was the one who said, Lazarus, come forth, and Lazarus came forth. And so as we look at this instance of Jesus doing it for the sake of the people, Jesus was then angering so many people that those people wanted to say, wanted to do something to Jesus that was very vile, that was very evil. And so what they did was they trumped up enough charges to get him arrested by the Jewish leaders. And so when they got him arrested, they got him before Caiaphas and they got him before Pilate. And so they brought him before judges because they were upset that this man claimed to be the son of God. God, and they didn't want this man from Nazareth to be their savior. And so as he was continuing on throughout his trials, understand that a greater demonstration was coming forth because everything that Jesus was doing was not on his own side. was for the sake of those who were around. And so when Jesus was arrested, understand that this was happening so that we could see it. So that we can have narrative of it. Because we know that in the night of his arrest, he was in a car. And he was so stressed over the situation that his sweat became like drops of blood. And so as his sweat became like drops of blood, we see that he was, was battling over wanting to do this and that. And he said, Father, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but thy will be done. And so after that, he was taken up by a man who betrayed the name of Jesus. Now, so after this happened, he was then taken before justice. And nobody could find any fault in him. But they still were about to cause a tear in the Jews and the Romans. So they had to satisfy the Jews because they were upset that this man claimed to be their savior and the son of God. And so as they finally got up enough courage and they raised up enough noise to convince Pilate, understand that all this is happening, not so Jesus can know, but so that you can know that he is the Christ, the son of the living God. So finally, Pilate washes his hands of the situation and he allows Jesus to be crucified. And so when they put a cross on Jesus' back, understand that that sweat that was like drops of blood was only the beginning of the blood that was going to be shed. And so as they beat him, more blood was being shed. And so as he was being placed, a uh, crown of thorns was being placed on his head, it was happening, and more blood was being shed. And so as he was walking up to God, and nails were placed in his hands, and nails in his feet. And as the cross was lifted up, understand that all this is happening. Not so that he could be on the cross. But a greater demonstration is that Joseph of Arimathea asked for permission to take down the body of Jesus off the cross. And as he asked for permission to take down the body of the cross, there were people who saw Mary Martha, they saw where they laid the body. And so as they saw where they laid the body, the Jews went to Pilate and they said, We need a guard because there were people who heard him say that he would rise on the third day. And if there is no body found in the grave on the third day, then the belief would be stronger than it was in the first place. And so they asked for a guard to guard the tomb so that nobody would steal the body. And so since nobody was there to steal the body, understand that there was a lot going on at the tomb of a dead man. You would think they were escorting a dangerous criminal, but there was a guard in 